హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ ఫార్మా నాలెడ్జ్ బై సత్యనారాయణ సియాద్రి వీ డిస్కస్డ్ లోట్ ఆఫ్ టాపిక్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఫార్మా ఇండస్ట్రీ అబౌట్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ వ్యాలిడేషన్ అండ్ కాపా అండ్ దిస్ ఓవోఎస్ ఇన్వెస్టిగేషన్ అండ్ సో మెనీ టాపిక్స్ వీ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ సిక్స్టీన్ టాపిక్స్ వీ కవర్డ్ ఇన్ ఎర్లియర్ సెషన్స్ అబౌట్ దిస్ ఫార్మా ఇండస్ట్రీ అండ్ టుడే అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ చేంజ్ కంట్రోల్ what is a change control and what is the procedure for this change control for an industry and what are the guideline reference on this change control and what is the importance of change control system in a pharmaceutical industry we will discuss today and we'll see the definition part what is a change control change control is a systematic approach to managing all changes made to a product or a system or a facility in the gmp environment and gmp is a word you can see it's a good manufacturing practice as manufacturing is a not a simple word it is defined as to include all operations of the receipt of the materials production packaging repackaging labeling relabeling and quality control and release storage and distribution of the api and uh, uh, relevant controls so each and every term uh, comes under this manufacturing so the change control is a, uh, is a systematic approach required in all the aspects of the gmp facility at the purpose uh, to ensure that there is no unnecessary changes are made and all the changes were documented well and communicated well and uh, services uh, are not unnecessarily disrupted and uh, resources are used efficiently this is the purpose of this change control and you can see as price is q10 uh, they mentioned one of the definition what is a change management system change management is a systematic approach to proposing evaluating approving implementing and reviewing the changes it means uh, uh, the firm have a, a systematic procedure or approach to proposing a change and evaluating that change and approving later implementing of that uh, they have to review the changes thoroughly and processor the change control processor uh, we know uh, in a firm there are number of departments uh, in in the facility uh, there may be the change related to any of the aspect uh, processor people facility document uh, in any of the department then the user department has to draft the change control they have to write up uh, existing processor and uh, what is the proposed processor and what is the reason or just be for the change they have to write a draft uh, then they have to forward to quality unit uh, then log in by quality unit then quality unit has to send that uh, change proposal everything to the cross functional teams uh, for acknowledgement and uh, review from their side uh, then after we have to implement the change the user department has to implement the change and finally closure part uh, uh after that uh, post implementation review after closure the firm has to do a some sort of a post implementation review on the proposed changes and implemented changes and uh, nowadays uh, as per this ics q10 guideline this quality risk assessment is mandatory for the change control system and the quality risk assessment on the proposals we have to do as a industry we have to anticipate the risks uh, what are the risk associated with the proposed changes uh, and uh, we have to analyze the existing controls on the anticipated risks and uh, finally our aim of this uh, quality risk assessment uh, to ensure that there should not be any impact on the product quality safety and efficacy of the drug by this proposing proposed changes and if there is an impact then what is the uh, industry capability to control or Uh, for the recommendation shall be taken is uh, is the aim of this quality risk assessment uh, in the change control processor it is requirement as per the guideline nowadays and what are the guidelines uh, uh, about this change control processor there are majorly two guidelines are there ics q7 and ics q10 we know ics q7 is a guideline good manufacturing practices guideline for the apis manufacturing it's a gmp guideline and ics q10 pharmaceutical quality system pks talks about this uh, change control these are the major guidelines talks about this change control processor uh, now let's go with a quick glance on this change control processor about uh, mentioned in this guidelines 
as per ICH Q7 GMP guideline, uh, there are number of sections in that uh, 13th section uh, talks about this change control procedure. As per this guideline, a formal change control system should be established to evaluate all changes that may affect the production and control of the intermediate API. It is, it is, it is means uh, a formal system required, formal change control system required in the industry and uh, the written processes should provide for the identification, documentation, appropriate review and approval of the changes in raw materials, uh, specifications, uh, analytical methods, uh, facilities, supporting systems, uh, equipment including computer hardware and uh, processing steps, uh, labeling part, packaging materials uh, and computer software. Each and every step of the industry, each and every uh, system of the facility comes under the scope of the uh, this uh, change control processor. And any proposal for the GMP relevant changes should be drafted, reviewed and approved by the appropriate organizational units. It means quality unit thoroughly review and approve the change control. And potentially impact on the proposed change on the quality of the intermediate API should be evaluated and justified. It means we have to thoroughly review the change. What is the potential impact on the product quality because of the change and we have to thoroughly evaluate and it should be justified. And uh, further the changes can be classified based on the nature of the change or extent of the change and impact on the product and process. We have to classify the changes like minor or major. Scientific judgment should determine what additional testing and validation studies are appropriate to justify a change in the validated process. Suppose sometimes we are taking any change in the validated process, then we have to do some judgment. What are the additional testing we need to do and what are the validation steps we have to repeat, we have to justify those. We should have a scientific judgment on the uh, that uh, impacting uh, proposals and ensure that uh, all the documents affected by the changes are re revised. Sometimes uh, because of the some of the change, we need to revise our existing procedures. Uh, those we have to ensure all, are, all, uh, all the affected changes are revised. And after the change has been implemented, there should be an evaluation of the first batches produced are tested under the change. It means after implementing, we have to uh, evaluate on the first uh, produced batches by the change or first three tested batches under the change we have to evaluate thoroughly and the potential for critical changes to affect established retest or expiry date should be evaluated some of the case because of the some of the changes in the process uh, that will impact on the retest or expiry dates of the product also we have to evaluate those if necessary the samples of the intermediate api produced by the modified process can be placed in a excellent stability program or can be taken for the stability monitoring program. Some of the case, uh, uh, reprocessing, reworking case, uh, we have to go for a uh, stability monitoring program of those batches also based on the, some of the changes in the process. And finally, notification to the formulation from the API manifest. During this uh, change control uh, procedure systematic approach, uh, the firm has to inform to their uh, next level means a formulation unit about this change control. This is about uh, change control procedure uh, mentioned in the ICHQ7. And let us see as per ICHQ10 uh, PKS system in that 3.2.3 uh, uh, section talks about this change management system. As per this guideline, the change management system ensures continual improvement is undertaken in, the, in, uh, in a timely and effective manner. The change management system ensures, it will ensure the continuous improvement of the system in the facility and it should provide a high degree of assurance. There are no unintended consequences of the change. It means that the change management system is there. That will give you assurance. There are no unintended changes have taken. And the quality risk management should be utilized to evaluate proper changes. I discussed in uh, earlier, to earlier uh, previous uh, to, uh, slides. This is mandatory. Quality risk management is mandatory. ICHQ9 guideline is there during this change control system and the proposed changes should be evaluated by the expert teams and knowledge from the relevant areas we can take from the development to uh, our development stage to manufacturing quality regulatory affairs and formulation we have to collect that decision and uh, reviewing part from the each and uh, re every relevant areas regarding the nfd changes to ensure that there is 
there is no impact on the bird quality, safety and efficacy. And finally, the change which, which we take in, it is technically justified. And the prospect evaluation criteria for a proposed change should be set. It means the further batches after change implementation, we have to evaluate thoroughly. And after implementation, an evaluation of the change should be undertaken to confirm the change objectives were achieved and that there were no deterioration impact on the product quality. It means after implementation, we have to evaluate, uh, we discussed as per Q7 also, post implementation review is required in order to ensure that whether uh, the changes which we take in is uh, effective and what our aim we achieved or not. And as per the size of Q10, they have mentioned it is uh, the scope applicable from the product uh, development to technology transfer, commercial management and uh, product discontinuation. It is uh, applicable from the development stage of the product to the discontinuation stage. Each and every step it is applicable, this quality man uh, change management system. And uh, in pharmaceutical development stage, you can see change is an inherent part of the development process. Yes, it is a, uh, in a, a change is a, Change may happen in the process in development stage. It, is, it, it may happen. It, then it should be documented and the formality of the change management process should be consistent with the stage of formal development. It is required from the development stage itself. And technology transfer. During technology transfer, there may be some changes in the process based on the observations and execution, we can say. Then we have to document thoroughly. And in commercial manufacturing, a formal change management system should be in place for commercial manufacturing and oversight by the quality unit should provide assurance of the appropriate science and risk-based assessments. In commercial manufacturing, it is a, a mandatory term of this change management system to ensure there is no impact on the product quality, safety and efficacy of the product. And uh, in product discontinuation also, any changes after product discontinu discontinuation should go through an appropriate change management system. So it means that it is applicable from the product development to discontinuous stage. And uh, this is the final uh, slide. Uh, what is the importance of change control in the pharmaceutical industry? As we discussed, uh, it is a regulatory requirement. And change control system is one of the important element to review during investigations of the product failures. So far, uh, if you have any failure in the process uh, or any product divisions, uh, OSR division, then you have to uh, uh, review your change control system also. What are the changes taken in that particular process, system or facility in order to identify some sort of root causes. And it is directly linked to the product quality, safety and efficacy. It means the change, what are the change we are taking in a GBA facility is directly linked to the product quality, safety and efficacy. And change control is the most critical element in a pharmaceutical industry uh, in a QMS system. Inadequate change control procedures end up with a huge risk of non-compliance. And uh, you see, uh, so we are not having any systematic approach for the change control system uh, that leads to huge risk of the non-compliance. It means uh, the auditor in the point of audit uh, we will trouble. Making uncontrolled changes is a violation of the several sections of the quality system regulation. You see, making uncontrolled changes uh, means without any approvals uh, is any change we are taking it is a violation to the several sections of the regulatory angle. And audit point of view, it is one of the primary responsibility for an organization should have a procedure for change management system. I mean, in the audit point, it is one of the point, basic point the auditor may ask you. And it is applicable for each step of the manufacturing, man, machine, uh, facility, and procedure, process, document, each and every step uh, uh, scope of this change control system. So that is the reason this change control process is very much important in the pharmacy industry. Each and every change in the system, it is directly impacting on the product quality, safety, efficacy. So uh, this is the topic we discussed today, change control processor. I hope you will understand today's topic. Uh, uh, please watch my channel. Please subscribe it. Pharmanal Jivasatnan Siyadri and watch all my previous videos uh, once again and uh, share to your colleagues uh, they will have some knowledge thank you thank you for watching